The fourth floor. Small claims court. Divorce filings. State-ordered drug tests. It's somehow both freezing and humid. There's a whole room on the fourth floor where they store the knives they've confiscated from people who went to the fourth floor to stab someone. You from Parks and Rec? Yeah. I'm here to show you around. Oh, nice to meet you, ma'am. Uh, what's your name? Ethel Beavers. Follow me. OK, this is you. Whoa. Double computers? I get my own office phone. Hello, Wall Street. Buy more stocks. Now, this phone kind of smells like a butt. Try not to move things around, because technically speaking, this is still a crime scene. Oh, uh, here's your name tags. Here. Ethel, this shirt is from Theory. Name tags make holes. I'm not wearing this. Do what you want. Bye, Ethel. Damn it. Remind me next time to ask her where she was when Lincoln got shot. Remind Tom, ask something. You got it, boss. So Jerry is like basically my boss now, which I'm never gonna work for him. Ron's trapped in this weird desk prison and I now work at this traveling IV station. This uh, Mark Jansen's office? Nope. <sighs> Tell Mort I said, your move. Oh my God, I wanna work up here with you guys. This is awesome. How many more of those stupid documents do you have to scan? Uh, just this one and all the ones in those boxes. I gotta get out of here, pronto. Time to get those old ladies to do my work for me. How? By shining down on them with the Haverford charm ray. Wow, 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 wow. Well, 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 if it isn't Ethel Beavers. What's up, beautiful? Julianne Moore just called, she wants her hair back. Nobody named Julian called. Never mind. I just need to ask you a couple of questions. One, can you help me out with this project we're doing? And two, will you please invite me to your 30th birthday party? What are you doing? I'm making a test call to your phone to make sure it's working so you don't miss any more calls. You know what? Don't bother. Maybe I'll just find an open window and plumb it to my desk. OK. You two are just the cutest things on four legs. <laughs> Why so much black? It's like you're going to a funeral. She's got a point, babe. So marry her then. <laughs> oh, I wish. Hey, sorry to interrupt the love fest, but could you hand me that folder there, please, Ethel? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Why you gotta be like that, Ethel? Looks like someone got up on the wrong side of the crib. <laughs> Stop laughing, Muriel. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Margaret's Pecan Squares. They are like crack. I brought you one. How are you so happy working here? I don't know, man. It's not that bad. A year ago, I lived in a pit. Now I got a job and a kick-ass wife. And my band is so good. And are you going to eat that Pecan Square? <clears throat> when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. I read that once on a can of lemonade. I like to think that it applies to life. I don't want lemonade. It's too sweet, and it makes my tongue feel gritty. So maybe it's time for a change. Starting now, when life gives me lemons, I'm going to slice them up into wedges and throw them into vodka tonics, which I will then sip in a burlesque nightclub that I co-own with actor Tay Diggs and two of the Pussycat Dolls. Mm -hmm.